Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to do this in two parts. The video's uh, not working. So we have the old O-ring off. I've got the new O-ring about to rub this down with KY. I've got uh, my unit here down low and my cartridge cleaned up. And so we will put this back together and see if we have uh, any leaks still once I get the water turned back on. All right, I got the filter cartridge holder and filter back in place. I'm gonna tighten that up, make sure that uh, we have a nice tight fit on it, and then we'll test it out. All right, we're good to go. Everything's assembled. We're gonna switch the water back on. It'll fill the tank. Hopefully we have no leaks. And so far, so good, actually. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think we are back in business here. Okay, guys, so it looks like that worked out quite well. Um, most of the issue that I found here appeared to be sediment that had gotten in the threads as well as in the filter. Uh, or, sorry, the O-ring on the filter uh, cartridge itself. So those were the two biggest issues. I'm glad I thought and remember to bring my brush down here to make sure I brush that out good. Had some dry towels that helped uh, pick up all the loose sediment that was in there. Uh, put the O-ring in, like I said, with a KY jelly. Um, <laughs> from the advice of a plumbing friend. And um, I always have fun when I say that about the KY jelly. Anyway, uh, it works. I have no leaks. Uh, everything looks good. And now um, I got to go get dressed for Super Bowl. And I got all these uh, cobwebs in my hair. It's uh, This is what I'm dealing with down here. Thank God I'm only five foot five. That's the average height of a miner. Um, learned that when I took the mining tour when I was first out here. So anyway, you guys have an awesome day. I uh, hope this helps you guys. If anyone's out here having to do this work, you ladies, by yourself. And uh, peace out. Have a great day.